Martin. I want you to take Mrs. Corbett over to the funeral parlor. And would you run Virgil down the depot? Uh, the Virg here, Chief, he thinks that Harvey's innocent. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Could I talk to you about it in private? No, you can't talk to me about it in private, see, because I got Corbett's wallet right here in my hand. We took it from Harvey Overs. You don't think he gave it to him, do you? I don't know, but Overs could have come along after the crime, found it, picked it up. I don't know. That's what the boy said he did. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am, but I say different. Well, when I examined the deceased, it was obvious that the fatal blow was struck from an angle of 17 degrees from the right, which makes it almost certain the person who did it is right-handed. So what? Old Harvey's left-handed, Chief. Everybody in town knows that. Yeah, uh, that, that's what we figured out, Chief. Uh, Harvey's a lefty, uh-huh. Well, you're pretty sure of yourself, ain't you, Virgil? Uh, Virgil, that's a funny name for a boy that comes from Philadelphia. What do they call you up there? They call me Mr. Tibbs. Mr. Tibbs? Well, Mr. Wood, take Mr. Tibbs, take him down to the depot, and I mean boy like now. <laughs> 